Hello, how are you going today? Hope that you found our videos are useful for your IELTS preparation. Today, we will move to IELTS speaking look test for sport and activities topic. Let's go! Good morning, what's your full name, please? My full name is Kei Sing Nguyen. Could you please give me your ID card? Here it is. Nice to meet you. My name is, and I come from. I'll begin by asking you some questions about yourself. Yep. Are you interested in sports? Yes, I'm a big fan of sport. I really enjoyed running barefoot on the grass. How often do you play sports? I'm a member of a gym center, so I mostly play a sport or work out every day. Especially, I do mixed martial art, mainly focusing on kickboxing. Is sport popular with all age groups in your community? I do think that most of the people in my country absolutely love to play sport, especially football, badminton, and swimming. What kinds of sports facilities are there in your hometown? As I've mentioned before, people of all ages in my country pay attention to the sport. That's the reason why we invest more in the sport center, amenities, and trainers. It's pretty easy to play sport in my country. Thank you very much. Let's move on cue card topic. Here's the question. Describe a sport that you like watching. You should say why you enjoy watching it when and how you watch it, how it compares to other sports, and say whether you enjoy playing that sport or not. I'd like you to speak on this topic in two minutes. Before that, you have one minute to prepare. And here's some paper and pen for you to make some notes if you wish. Well, could you please begin? Well, it's pretty interesting when talking about this issue. Actually, I take pleasure in sport. Especially, I'm a great fan of extreme sport. And I really love to watch this kind of sport. I suppose that extreme sport are ones that are dangerous and very exciting for playing and watching. I notably like bungee jumping, snowboarding, and climbing, so I usually spend my spare time to watch this sport on YouTube to relax and learn more things about snowboarding. You know, I do hope that I will have a chance to try this sport. There are many reasons to explain why I like to play and watch extreme sport. But the most important thing is this kind of sport is absolutely different with others. In detail, an extreme sport is a sport or activity perceived as having a high level of danger that is impressed dangerous lovers and it asked for bravery. These activities often involve speed, height, a high level of physical effort, a highly specialized gear to avoid injury. Especially if you know how to play it right, it definitely makes you be keen on it. For example, rock climbing is perfectly safe if you have the right equipment and know how to use it. However, extreme sport can be extremely difficult. Therefore, you need great mental stamina be in top physical condition 
and you must never give up is such a great feeling when you reach the peak and you know you are the winner. Thank you very much. Let's move on to discussion topic related to the sports and activities. How have sports changed much in your country in the past 30 years? In my opinion, there is a big change of sport in my hometown, especially compared to the past 30 years. Nowadays, we have more and more convenient conditions to play sport with gym centers, trainers, and competitions. Besides, there is a quick increase of the type of sport, even totally brand new sport such as body combat, bumps and tums, etc. Moreover, it's easier for people of all ages to find out the most suitable sport for them. What types of sport do you think is better? team sports or individual sports? Well, this is actually a chicken and egg question. From my point of view, each type of sport has its own benefit. Team sport or individual sport, it depends on the player's condition, interest and health, not better or worse. Besides, both team sport and individual sport are good for players' appearance and health, which help them to perfect their physically and mentally. Do you think competitive sports teach children useful moral lessons? In my opinion, I suppose that everything has two sides, advantages and disadvantages. And this is absolutely right with teaching children by competitive sport. Firstly, playing competitive sport helps children to determine their target and try to do the best to achieve it. However, if the children are over competitive, it occurs pressure and break the sportsmanship, friendship or relationship in their real life. Therefore, parents and teachers need to teach them what is a fair play or full play and the meaning of the competition and win. Thank you very much. It's the end of our test. Thank you for watching. What are you waiting for? Click to subscribe us. Remember, don't hesitate to ask if you need any help.